In this quick tutorial, you're gonna learn how to use the built-in animator in Aceprite. And I'm gonna use a very simple example and I wanna keep it on point, focusing on the animation part and not so much on the graphics. So as you can see here, we have a very plain graphic, right? It's a just an, a black outline in a red fill color and it's supposed to look like a ball. And in a few seconds, we're going to animate this so it looks like a bouncing ball. Now, it might be useful for you to know that this is a 32 by 32 pixel sprite, that's the size. And this pixel grid you see here is gonna be very useful and I recommend that you activate it by going up to view and then clicking on show and then click on pixel grid. Okay, all right, so now let's start animating this thing. So the first thing we need to do is to copy our first frame. We have one frame now and now let's copy this. So you can do that by holding down the alt or the options key on your computer and then hit N like so. Now if this doesn't work, just make sure that you click somewhere inside this window to select it because sometimes you deselect it by mistake. So that's why it doesn't work sometimes. So just click anywhere and then Alt N to copy the frames. So now we have two frames. All right, so now I want to focus on the ascension part of the animation first, so where it moves up. So if you imagine that the first frame is where we hit the floor the first time, and then the next frame, the very next frame is the, the first part of the ascension phase. Okay, so now I want to move this ball up uh, vertically. So I'm going to use the marquee tool, which you can select by hitting M or going up here and click here, rectangle and marquee tool. And now I'm going to drag around this circle or this ball and let go and hit the up arrow key one, two, three, four pixels like so. And now I want to do a couple of more steps and then I'll explain exactly why we're doing what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to hold down Alt again and hit N to copy. And now this time I'm only going to move it up three pixels, not four, three pixels. So one, two, three. I'm going to hit Alt N again to copy again. So we have four frames. And now I'm going to move it up two pixels, one, two. And one more time, Alt N to copy and move it up one pixel. Okay, now to deselect this marquee tool, you can hit Escape. All right. So before I explain what's going on, I want to show you how this looks. So let's hit the play button. And uh, I mean, it looks like something that's bouncing or it looks like something that's slamming actually, right? It doesn't really look like what I want it to look like, but you can probably imagine that you can use this for some type of animation in a game. Like if you had to crawl onto something and some object is going to slam you and squash you like a bug or something like that, you could probably use it for, for other things, but not really a bouncing ball. So we are only done with half of the animation. And now I wanna explain exactly why I did what I did before we move on with the other half. So on the very first frame, we are on the floor, right? That's when we hit the floor. Now the second fl fr frame is the first part of the ascension. And if you follow the laws of, of physics or the laws of gravity, you will know that an object will decelerate from every step until it moves up to its peak, right? So every step until it hit, hits its peak height, it's going to decelerate its speed. Because if that wasn't true, if the law of, of gravity wasn't true, then this ball would just continue and move into, just fly into space, right? But that's not how gravity works. So we want to decelerate the ascension or the amount of distance that is covered from frame to frame. So that's why we are moving from four pixels to three pixels to two pixels to one pixel and this is where we hit the peak of the of the height of the animation, okay? So that's how that works. It's, it's to, because I want to make it somewhat realistic, right? So now let's do the exact opposite for the other half of the animation, right? Now the ball is descending, right? It's going downwards again. So let's copy this frame, Alt N, like so. And now let's use the marquee select tool, like so, and let go. And now I'm gonna move it down one pixel, right? Now I'm gonna copy this and you probably know where we're going now. Two pixels, one, two, copy it again, and one, two, three pixels. Now, I'm not gonna make any more copies because if you hit the escape key now and you go to the first frame, you'll see that we have now completed the circle of the animation, right? So if you hit the play button now, you can see that we have indeed a bouncing ball, right? Pretty cool. Now, you might think that, I mean, this is not that realistic. It, it, you might want to maybe, maybe, you know, you want to squash the ball a little bit when it hits the floor the first time. And then when it ascends into the air, maybe you want to sort of stretch it a little bit vertically. I mean, there are many things you can do to resemble real life material, but it really depends on what type of animation you're going for, what type of object, what type of floor, what type of everything really, right? This is just a simple animation. I just want to show you how the animator works in Ace Bright, and hopefully I've done that.
If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.